Yeah. Hi guys, I came to Boston this weekend to visit my brother and we went to the New England Dessert Showcase yesterday. But today we had to come to Flower to make up for it. Well, tell us how you found out about it. Well, I follow a Japanese bakery called Japanese Bakery on Twitter and they they mentioned they were going to be at the showcase. We got tickets. Yeah. They were kind of expensive tickets, but then you guys got a Groupon deal. Mm -hmm. So they got VIP tickets. For VIP, you're supposed to get a sw a, sw a swag bag, and um, and then you can have you have a separate line. Yeah, you that's supposed to be faster. You can, there was a party the night before, but we didn't go to it. It was from 12 to 5, uh, and uh, we got there right before 12, and there was already a line, like a long line. When we got up there, they stopped the, they es stopped the escalator. escalator. So we had to stand at the bottom of the escalator, and we were luckily the, the second party in the line, so we were able to get in. Right, so then when they let us in, uh, there was just a mass of people who went on the escalator, and then the escalator broke because there were so many fat people going to the dessert showcase that they couldn't take all the weight. Literally, the average weight was 350 pounds. <laughs> Literally. Don't think that literally. So then we got in and there wasn't really a faster line for VIP at all. They picked up their swag bags. And there was, was nothing. Really different. Yeah, and the swag bag. And there was nothing in the swag bag. It's just like coupons. There wasn't even chocolate. It was a bag of chips. And it wasn't was even snack. really coupons for desserts. It was just random so coupons. Yeah, it was oh, it was advertised as a $200 value. value. Yeah. But that's because one of the things was a 150 coupon for, like for some a spa thing. Spa treatment. Not related to dessert oh, at all. So then we go in and it's wall to wall with people. Oh, people are touching things with their hands. Guys, we should go all the way to the back and then come back around. Yeah, except for that. <laughs> Except for the middle that was... The world's largest Boston cream pie. It was 15 feet in diameter. And it wasn't that really impressive. We interviewed one of the cooks like for a while. So how long did you, did you make this? Uh, and uh, yeah, it took us uh, about a week and a half just for the yellow cake itself. How many eggs? Uh, the eggs, we actually didn't film how many eggs, but we just whole uh, eggs uh, mix so that we could get it done faster. And, uh, how many sacks of flour? Uh, I would have to say like maybe 15. This chick's about to jump into it. What is yeah. she doing? Uh, That's disgusting. Take pictures with it. Yeah, we literally came here around 4.30 in the morning just to assemble the thing. Oh, man. How heavy is it? It's about 2,023 pounds, but now it's only probably like 2,000. <laughs> <laughs> so it's still, it's still really heavy. I don't think anyone here can lift it. Are you, are you a culinary student? I'm actually uh, in the uh, culinary program, but I'm majoring in baking. Good job. Yeah. All right, thank you. You're welcome. So the place was crowded, overcrowded. There was like, um, the room wasn't that big. When we first got there, there were like 500, 600 people in the room, but... And the capacity was probably... 400. Yeah. But... Um, the average size of the person was 1.3, 1.4 people. <laughs> because like, on average, they were 40% fatter. The Mohawk right? That's not to say that everybody was 40% fatter than the average person. It's just like they're regular there people. And there were like some people who were like 2.4, like 140% like size, bigger than the... What about it? What? Like, what you, you know, like I say four. Like Basically, you had to be rude to get any desserts. Yes. So. Or you just like so you would get one. So, wound up dessert. getting like all the desserts. Say how I laugh. Yeah. Our sister left after five minutes because some fat lady pushed her. So why did you leave after five minutes? <laughs> because this lady, really big fat lady, pushed me, and then yeah, she was very fat, and then she. <laughs> Me. They can't see your hands. And what she actually ended up doing was pushing me front of the front of the line. So when I got a no, I got a snack and I was handing one back to my brother, she yelled about it and then got she tried to push forward.
But there were no rules, so... <laughs> like with her stomach. And it disgusted me, so I laughed. There were no rules, though, so she had no right to say any of those things. That's right. She, she was yeah. The line started from both um, sides. The tables were pretty close to each other, like a college fair or something like that. But the lines, there was no flow to the room, so the lines started at both ends and overtook the tables next to it. So it was just a complete mess. It's lucky that you were so like sneaky and small because you could just sneak in and take things. Yeah, but I don't know how anyone else with better manners than me would have been able to do it. Right, one more thing about that fat lady. Like she wasn't <laughs> she was really fat, but it wasn't like the good kind of fat like you would find on a sumo wrestler. It was like the like the type of it fat was... you might find on like an orca. <laughs> like a like blubber, like something that would keep you warm in the Arctic. You know what I mean? Or they might think it's a delicacy. <laughs> yeah, where you <laughs> might. Oh, that's gross. Like whale blubber is a delicacy to Inuit people. They call it muktuk. But she was like all muktuk. <laughs> Fatima was able to get to um, all the desserts because she's sort of small and she was like smeagol. She would get into the front of the line and just like, hey. mm -hmm. Anyway, mm -hmm. so we looked behind us and there was a long, long line to get into this place. Like, like we said, maybe 400 people would be the maximum number of people in this who, that could fit in this room. But there were literally like 2,000 people What's behind the us in thing? line. The line went out the hotel, down uh, out into the mall, down across this this bridge to another building, through that building, out that building, down the street a couple of blocks. It's like everybody in Boston wanted like desserts. So we thought we estimated it to be four city blocks long. Yeah, it was kind of ridiculous. They oversold. This company called Anthem Entertainment um, organized it, and they did like a horrible job. We left, and we we're like, that was kind of bad. It was bad. We figured we were gonna get to talk to the bakers and try a lot of different kinds of things, and yeah. it looked like there were gonna be cannolis there at least. Yeah, they had but pictures on their website of cannolis, and there were no cannolis. No cannolis. That really there was nice one cream on puff, yeah. but it wasn't bad. Yeah. There were a couple of things that I liked, like this Japanese bakery that he heard it about. Yeah, the Japanese bakery is pretty good. I encourage everybody in Boston to go there. So we we wound up leaving. They were just. It got to the point where there was like like two thousand, three thousand people, four thousand people in line. Yeah, four thousand. It was much more than the Westin where this was the, the venue was so, could handle. So they just sent the Westin people out and they just told everybody in line to go home. Yeah, we were. Out. We had already left at this point, yeah, so we, we just didn't told them, "Look, just come back in two hours." And people, people just left. So then we went to lunch. So that says something that we could go to lunch directly after this thing. Yeah, we that weren't wasn't so too impressed. full no, that, to, wasn't so that we couldn't get lunch. And then we went back because his friend just met us up for lunch. So we went back, and it was all deserted. Yeah. So was like this, this thing was supposed to go from twelve to five. And we went back at before four, and it yeah, was. Yeah, we were there at like three thirty, and it was like I'd say sixty percent of the people were vendors were gone, and of the people that were still there, they looked all desolate. Yeah, they were running out. There was more garbage out than their actual food. Yeah. And um, and there were like uh, non-dessert related vendors there. So they were still sticking around. The one thing that we saw that was different when we came back was this tea place. So it's like this lollipop. You stir it into hot water and it becomes tea. Yeah. So they put the tea and the sugar and everything in there. Let's see, it's yes. a company called Strawberry Hill Confectionery. Link in the description below. Second time we went around, we were actually able to talk to the bakers and the vendors because nobody else is there. And there's no food left, so we. Best in cakes, like you see on TV. Oh, yeah. Just to give you. What we uh, what we can do? Uh huh. This is a wedding cake out of an ube crop. A who? Ube. Exactly, right? It's a root crop. Okay. Purple yam. Purple yam. Oh, purple yam. Yeah. Uh, that we had to deliver to New York too. I knew that from anime. So if uh, we can Google it, we can make it. Can I touch this? Sure. Oh, you're 
you already bought it. Two hundred fifty dollars. Would this really be two hundred fifty dollars? If it were a grill cake. Uh, yeah, it depends on what you have in it and what you want to put on it. It ranges from around eighty to around five hundred dollars. Really? On average. How much would this be? Uh, around one fifty, two fifty. Again, depends on what you have in it. That's less. This than is like the, the most bag. expensive yeah, one. It's <laughs> less than the bag, though. Exactly. <laughs> it's the most expensive one that we've actually made because of the detail. If you take a look at it, it's, it's insane. Really, I want that bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is insane. You guys, it's around like, two hundred twenty-five. I think you guys like the Ace of Cakes about this big. Thank you. Sure thing. So everyone's outraged because some people didn't get to go. Yeah, some people stood online for two hours or, and three, or three hours, and then were told to go home. We were lucky that we were get we got to go in once, so we got to go in twice. Right, but like lucky is kind of a relative term because it's not like there was really great desserts there, like you'd expect it. There were no canoes. Yeah, no. It's canoes. mostly like kind of came, mediocre cupcakes. We came from Philadelphia to go to this Boston thing, so it was really a big disappointment. But we still had a fun day. Yeah, it was fun. But it but wasn't fun because of that. We have a good attitude about things. And I, I think mean, most I have people, a good attitude about things. Right? Most people would. Yeah, then different. we went to Summer Shack. So like, we ate two big meals that, the same day that we went to the New England Dessert Showcase, which was not my aim at all. I was expecting to only eat dessert yesterday. That's it. I was it. expecting to eat dessert and then Stop run 10 being miles. part of this. 10 miles. I encourage everybody in Boston to go to, to the Summer Shack. And if you're not from Boston, you should come by. Don't go to legal seafood like everybody else does. Just go to Summer Shack. Yeah, Summer Shack. Well, tell us what you were expecting out of the New England Dessert Showcase. Well, I sort of thought that they might have more interesting desserts, not just mini dry cupcakes at every single place. And basically, every place had chocolate or vanilla cupcake. Like maybe they didn't want to try something different because then if you didn't like it then you would associate it with them but instead they just all had bad like bad to mediocre cupcakes that are not memorable. I couldn't name one bakery that was there. Yeah. And um, I was expecting to eat a lot of desserts. Like a lot of desserts. I love desserts. We were expecting it to be a lot better and a lot different. Something we were excited for for a couple of weeks. So it was a big disappointment for us. And we actually got to go. So imagine what it would have been like for people who didn't get to go. It's a better idea. Take $25 and go to a bakery. That or go to a restaurant with your friends and each of and, you get different desserts. And just dessert. get dessert, yeah. That would have been like a much, much better time. Yeah. Anything else to add, Yasmin? No. No. It's so, the worst thing I've ever had. Yeah, bottom line was it, it wasn't a good, a good experience. <laughs> There wasn't things around from around New England. It was like only around the block. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I was the expecting vending. things from Maine and stuff to be here, but there wasn't anything. Yeah, like that. New England is a big stretch. It was like this new this neighborhood dessert showcase. In fact, like every single term in that title is yeah. debatable. Flow case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 